Hey guys, what I have for you today is the uh, Caddy Daddy uh, Solid State Ignition Conversion Kit. It will eliminate uh, your points and condenser. We've got a distributor here I pulled out of the car. First step here is to remove all the existing uh, ignition components. We don't need the condenser, we don't need the points. The electronics kit has everything in it that it's going to need. So, just like as if we were going to service the points, but we're going to get rid of them for good. And for this job, we do need to remove the screws all the way. And we will remove the condenser. Coming here and we'll wipe the grease off the cam. Okay, so now we got the old wire out. And here is our electronic module and our grommet, which will be installed. So we install the grommet in the bottom of the distributor to protect the new wire. And what we want to do is just get this just hanging here and we're going to take and these screws will have to be Get mounted finger tight, but we need to mount the magnet ring. So there's eight magnets that goes into this into this ring, and the magnetic field from the magnets as they rotate is picked up by this sensor, and that's what will now replace the points and control the spark. So what we need to do is slip this ring over the the weights and then it will go into the holes where the screws this is normally where the screws for the, um, the rotor go. There's just simply not enough clearance to mount that uh, magnet ring with the um, uh, pickup in place. And this is going to be probably taken out at least once more because we have to check the gap between the magnet ring and the pickup. So these screws can just go in. They don't have to be real tight. They just need to hold that in place. And now we're gonna take our distributor, a rotor, line it up. And this is where it's gonna differ from stock. Instead of having the screws that come down into the, to the weight plate, uh, you'll have these, screw, these studs that stick up from the magnets. The uh, steel colored flat washers go on, then we have the no! locking nuts. And we will just gently snug those down. Now, what we need to do is check the clearance right here between. The magnetic, the magnet ring, and the pickup. And we need to see between um, uh, 10 and 60 thousandths. So I'm going to rotate the distributor shaft and look for the where it comes the closest, which is about there. All right, that's 25 thousandths. Now our spacer washers are around 30. Okay, so there's about 30, and there's the high spot. So we know that we have about 30 something thousandths on the tight side, and well over 35 on the loose side. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna disassemble all this and put in a set of the provided um, uh, spacers. And this is because of the tolerances in the parts, and 
if your distributor has been rebuilt, may have different um, oh. end play. And so that's the. This is a uh, trial and error process to get the proper clearances. Apply the spacers and reassemble and check again. So we can drop this down. Install. You want to install the uh, spacers on equal amounts on both sides. So we're just using one each here, one on each side. Okay, now we'll snug everything up here good. And we'll check some clearances down here. We need to have a ten thousandths a minimum. It looks like right here is a tight spot. I think the magnet's grabbing the feeler as I'm in there. If you have a set of brass feeler gauges, it would probably be a little bit easier. I'm going to look for the widest part, the widest opening right about there. 24, let's go up to 30. Okay, so we got this uh, particular distributor took one spacer washer between the magnet ring and the, and the weights. So this is all ready to be installed back into the car. And the way this is wired up, Instead of one wire, you have two. So it comes with a couple of um, lugs to crimp onto the end. And so at the coil, you have the positive and negative side of the coil. And the, the red wire will go to the positive side. It's going to your, that would go onto the ignition switch. And then the black wire would go to the negative side of the coil where the points used to connect. Because the module needs to have 12 volts to operate and then also provide the um, signal to the coil. So it takes two wires. So you can just route these however would be handy in, in your particular installation. You can cut them off if you need to. But that is how you would take in your 56 through 74, install the um, Caddy Daddy electronic ignition kit. And this is similar, I believe this kit's used in many other General Motors products. So if you're helping a friend out with an Oldsmobile or a Chevrolet, this all would apply there too. The parts used today in this um, electronic ignition conversion are available from Caddy Daddy at the links down below. At Caddy Daddy Presents, it's all about giving back. Please enjoy the video of the Boys and Girls Clubs of St. Helena and Calistoga Clicking the link in the video description.